Hello everybody, this is Josh from Millie Gaming, bringing you episode 4 of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Last episode we conquered both Trunk Twister and Busted Bayou, the two secret levels of this, of this world. Um, I'm going to go back through Shipwreck Shore, and I'm going to find the secret exit to this uh, amazing banana derpy statue thing. Secret level. So that... I'll have all of this levels in this world completed before heading on to the boss. Okay, I'm pretty sure I found the secret exit. Basically, once you get to these three... Well, two, I killed one of them. Once you get to these three jumping grasshoppers, it's near the end of the level. Just before, just before this boat, the, the boat thing, you'll find that there's an underwater section that allows you to go straight down. And there will be an, uh, an air current pushing you upwards, but what you gotta do is you gotta hold down A to go into a strong swim, I guess, that allow you to push past it, and you'll find this really cool looking area with these chains and stuff. It looks like it's giving us a never-ending supply of air, and there's the magic portal to the secret exit. Awesome. Okay. And this is the secret exit. And... BAM! Sweet. Not bad, but I beat it already, so who cares, really? I don't care. Do you care? I hope you don't care. So that's Lost Mangrove's secret exit. Not the Lost Mangroves. That is the Shipwreck Store secret exit. So, with that out of the way, and now that you guys know how to get to it, we are at Zipline Shrine. That sounds sublime. Zipline Shrine to let like that. Yeah, I can't even do it. Can't even make up my. Can't even pronounce my own pun. This is a travesty. Travesty, I tell ya. Suddenly became Sean Connery. Am I hearing the DK jungle beat? No, but I'm seeing some really sick looking ruins here. Nunners everywhere! Oh, it's the Shrine of the Flying Bananas. I understand. <laughs> the flying Bananas are some sort of godlike mythological figure now. It's the beginning of the time. That was good ground. It's the beginning of time. There was the Flying Bananas. And nothing else. Nobody really liked them all that much. Look at the bananas. They're waving like, like those weird... Uh, floppy things, the inflatable advertising guys at the car shops that always like flip around and win. Here's the here's here's the legend for you. So follows the legend of the flying bananas. Once upon a time, there were flying bananas. They were the leaders of a once great civilization. They were worshipped by the Donkey Kong for their ancestors. And they had no equal. Then, the Kremlings came and took everything over. The Flying Bananas fought them off and empowered the Donkey Kong family to continue fighting in their stead. Dark Kong family continued the noble fight, but then Microsoft decided to be idiots and buy out Rare, relegating them to connect sports games for the rest of their existence. Anyway, let's get that O. These mosquito guys, they're my bane. They're so funny though. So Zipline Shrine, I'm not seeing, uh, there's a couple ziplines back there, but not seeing all that many connections. I'd say, even though they're overusing these like pull on the ground things, I'm actually quite enjoying them. Now let's jump over that, not do that, and swing over that, and flip up that, and go there. There we go. Awesome monies. Oh, I got 87 banana coins. I gotta go spend it. I'm like a million toys. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's an abandoned golden temple. Wait, does that mean this is going to be really hard? Please don't bring back the repressed memories from my donkey. 
Oh right, I have to grab onto those, I forgot. <laughs> yes, they're gonna be so difficult. So difficult that not grabbing on means you die. Whoa, it's so difficult. There we go, that was slicker. Let's just hold down ZR, how about that, eh? Yeah. Oh, that guy's got a mustache! <laughs> That's actually kind of... <laughs> That's pretty clever. A banana with a mustache. I don't think anybody ever expected Donkey Kong to be facing a banana and a mustache. I'm gonna be completely honest here. You're like, hey guys, you know what? 20 years down the road, we're gonna have a level that has a giant banana statue with a mustache. And then Nintendo funded Rare and said, Jesus. And I died again. Okay, mustache man, you're gonna flip. Okay, so is this gonna... Okay, yeah, right, right. Okay, I'll flip over there, and then... So I got times just right, and... Well, how am I supposed to get... Th as they say. Oh, I did it this time. Out of instinct. Okay, so I got it. Eh? Eh? There we go. Oh, I just about forgot to not do that. Just about forgot to do that. That is. Forgetting to not do that is something that I don't have much trouble with, because I remember to not do that. I just kind of forget. You know, I'm losing track of my thoughts here. Alright, let's grab this. Oh, okay, you know what? This has been actually a really short level. We've only used up about nine minutes of time here. Not even that. Oh. Okay, so that's what, that's how it's gonna be. We have to collect all the uh, amazing bananas. Yep. Yep. Nope. Okay, there we go. Uh... Okay, here we are. Uh, up we go. Up we go. Okay! Good enough. I think I got all the Kong letters, did I? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. So, it actually looks like we are going to be able to have time to face the boss of World 1 after beating all of the levels. That's actually really good. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Cool. Cool, bro. Sweet. Yeah. Yo, dude. What's up, man? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, it's a temple level. But I will come back to that one because those levels are meant for the post game, sort of. So I'm going to uh, face the big top bop. And we're going to kick some tail. And you'll see why that's punny in a second. All right, we're not even gonna waste time with that. Okay, so they. Oh, okay, ooh. Who shalt we have? Ah, Cranky's my man. Let's go, Cranky. Ah! I don't like bright lights in my face. What? What is this sinister carnival kind of tent? Whoa! What is this barbaric monstrosity that stands before my eyes? It's a seal! With eyebrows. With rock music. For this, it must die. Okay, so this is... I don't know his name, but this is Big Top Bop, the level anyway. So basically, this entire level consists of a strategy of... He will slide across the arena every once in a while, and you will have to bop him. If I can, I will show you what that looks like. There we go. Okay. And he'll always drop an item for you. A lot of times it's a recovery card. Between attacks, he will throw enemies at you, or he will have enemies jump out towards you. Most of the enemies drop items. Uh, just note that he will sometimes... Actually, you'll see in a second. He'll sometimes roll down the arena instead of, uh, instead of sliding, which means you cannot attack him. And these spikes, you just pretty much... Oh, no, Cranky! You are my only friend! Just kidding, I have more friends than you. Not many, but I still have more friends than you. Just crank it. And... Biff! There we go. He gave me another barrel for another animal buddy. Not animal buddy! Stop saying that! Josh. They are, in fact... Animals. But they are not... Yeah, there's his roll. But they are not... Near animals. They are sentient. And they are deserving of life. And equality. Okay, so first of all, you're going to see all these penguins are going to jump up. This is your chance, if you are low in hearts, 
these guys will almost always drop recovery hearts it seems um so go wild kill as many of these guys as you can he's gonna drop in he's gonna be confused you hit him you die he dies you get bananas hopefully you don't die all right bring it bring it on brother bring it on brother this rock is about amped up i'm gonna kill everything i'm gonna kill everything bring it on brother bring it on brother Okay, yeah, he's getting angrier and angrier, just like the original boss, or the first world boss from Donkey Kong Country. These guys are a bit more difficult to avoid just because they move really fast, but it's not super officially hard to avoid. Okay, it is super officially hard to avoid, but it's not, okay. I'm just, it's not hard to avoid if you're good at the game, but not much is hard if you're good. One thing that I've noticed is the difficulty you'll see kind of in the second world, it actually does start amping up quite considerably. The first world is very lenient, and then all of a sudden they're like, and then BAM! You die! You're gonna... Okay, now he attempts to flatten you, and then eventually he will the ground and he will be confused. Yeah, right here. So he'll jump off really spectacularly, and then you'll hit the ground, and you can do this! Oh wait, he's not dead yet? Well then, what is he... I thought that was the end of it. Okay, whatever. No biggie. These guys also apparently slide around with the seal, so just be warned. Yes. And ah, oh, dang it. Yep. Bam. There we go. Okay. And oh no. Okay, you have to wait until it gives you the proper prompt, and then you can start smacking them around. I only got one hit in, unfortunately. Music and luck. New figurines and shop. Awesome. So, actually, I just had an epiphany. You're better off waiting to buy any figurines until after you've beaten the game. Because, at this point, there's only going to be two or three figures actually available to be bought in the shop. Which would mean that if you're going to buy, like, 78 figures with your massive amounts of money, you're probably going to end up with a lot less than you hoped for. So, anyway, that was World 1. Oh, yeah beat it like a boss all the levels Kong lettered and everything I am very happy with how that turned out but with that being said our time is up so that's where this episode is going to end if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to billion B gaming like this video and comment with your thoughts on it I'd love to hear your impressions so that I can improve on what you didn't like and that I can keep doing what you did like New videos are going to be coming every Wednesday and every Saturday. I hope you check those out too. But in the meantime, this is Josh signing off. See you guys.